Now I just going to go to OneDrive and I just log on to my OneDrive account. Then this is it. It just look the same now from here. Just like you restart the file locally on your computer. So, but it's gonna take a little while. Actually, the reason that's why this is long because uh, my computer machine here is slow. If you notice that. But when you do it on your own, it should not be this slow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Just like Google Drive or I found, then you can have an access to it from any devices. Now you see this is HTTP just linked to your OneDrive account. Then I can save the work. Now this is public, right? So I should now this is the requirements so far. We create cover page abstract, table of contents, contents and references. Share your link to Microsoft Drive. Right now, we call one drive. Right. Next, we talk about how to add the page number. So, let's look at how do I add a page number. So, for this document, we don't have page number yet. So, I start to add the page number to abstract page. So, go to insert and go to <coughs> page number you can pick the template where you want it to put on the top or the bottom in the middle or center in the format so I just add the page number All right it's gonna go through all the pages now how do I change the format since I say I need to make it as a Roman numeral, so I go to page number, which is under design when you double click on your footer. You can go to format page numbers and switch this to Roman numeral. Click OK. So for the Mac user, you can just go to insert page number. It should pop the format for you too. Now, we have page numbers go through all the pages with Roman numeral format. The next step, we said you want to add footer with date and file tab. <coughs> okay. So, this is your footer already that I'm on. Like for example, if you're not on the footer, if you close that, you're not gonna see the footer. You can just double click, right? Double click either to the top of the page or at the bottom of the page, just right between that. Then it should take you back into the design tab, which is the hidden footer tools here. The requirements. So <coughs> now I'm in footer, <coughs> and I'm going to go to next to the page number, enter. Then I have space or room to add my date, <coughs> so I can insert the date. Click the format that you would like to have. <coughs> enter again. I can also do insert the file tab. There are two ways to do this. One, you can just go in here, quick parts, fill, and scroll down to file name and add tab. So that's the file tab. And what is it? It's going to be the tab where you save your file. See that? Now, <coughs> this showing me saving the file locally. If you have it on Scribe Drive, it's going to be HTTPS. I didn't show you 
like this document, I'm going to show you how to save on SkyDrive again. Save as OneDrive. Right, and browse. So just switch to OneDrive and sign into your account. I already signed in, so I don't have to do it again. <coughs> and go to the folder that you want to save the file. You can create a new folder, just like the way that you used to do on your local drive. Now, in that case, I need to change my file tag, right? Now I'm going to delete this and show you another way to do this. Like if I close this already, I can just go to insert. <coughs> Uh, should be under quick parts right there field right and go to file name app path so that's the second way to do that uh, uh, have to make sure that you put the location where you want to put it okay so I didn't add into footer yet so let me do it again one more time like I said, you can just go from there. When you close, it actually closed out from that. That's why. Because sometimes you may want to insert that inside the document. So that's another menu for it. So, <coughs> quick parts field file name and add path. And hit OK. So this is going to be a link to your SkyDrive now. Now, this file part is very useful when when you happen to see the document and you want to see where it is, then you can actually s access to it through the link instead of spending your time to look around and search for it. Right? Now, <coughs> alright, so we understand date and file path. Next, we talk about references already. Now, how about watermark? We're going to add the watermark <coughs> So watermark should be under design Watermark So when you put watermark It's going to go on through all the pages Right there It's actually going on the cover page too but It's being hidden by my style here your blue style right there. Okay. Now, <coughs> yeah, the style didn't allow the, the watermark. It depends on the style that you pick for the cover page. Some you see the watermark will go there too. And uh, that's not really a concern at this point. Just make sure it's go through all the pages. It's just about a cover page style that you pick. Some will not allow, some will allow to see watermark. That should be okay. Now come back to that's how to use watermark, but we can also customize it. If I pick on, let me remove it. I can remove it. I can customize my own watermark. And you can change your own text, make your own text. You can make your own image. Like if I want to change my text, I just click text. I can type hello as the watermark. I see the word hello. You can change the image by picture. And you can pick the image from your file systems or your local machine or from the trip art you can search or from the being image right? <coughs> scale, scale. so I'm going to use that apply that that's become a watermark right <coughs> and you can, if you click on the wash out, it's, it's actually it's going to make the gray area away, make your image like look clear. But normally, watermark is just the wash out, then it's not going to hide in your text, otherwise, you're not facing our text. You can
Kenshin is skilled setting. Okay. That's beige, right? That's covered in whole beige, right? You need to do with wash out, with wash out. Otherwise, you cannot read the text. Okay. And, and uh, size, just leave it up to you. Okay, as long as it's one of the images, right? Yeah, it has to be image, and not the text. Size, size of the watermark is leave it up to you. Okay. So as long as it's a watermark, then With the image, not the text. Okay. Oh, it has to be an image. Yes. So no words. So We talk about create cover page already. We talk about table of contents already. Now come back to the page number. We did the Roman numeral already, correct? Now you require to do the regular numbers for other pages. So that means you need to make format the page number. Now you may see this happen in some of the textbook when you read the preface the textbook they have in Roman numeral right when you get to the contents it's in regular number when you get to the appendix it's going to be like alphabet A right so now if you want to do that how do we do it so we watch this very carefully because this is sometimes it may make you confused okay so this is Roman numeral already which is good but when we start the contents introduction here, we want it to be regular number. So I'm going to click at the end of that Roman numeral section. And what you need to do is you need to do page layout and insert the section breaks, right? Breaks the sections, go to breaks, section breaks, not the page breaks, section breaks. I'm going to do continuous. <coughs> okay. So it's going to continue to the next page and remove all the previous, right? Because if you double click your footer, this is section number two. The previous is section number one. Now you can actually do the same. <coughs> Insert your page with your own new format now to the bottom of the page. And let's reformat page to the regular number. And we're going to, we have an option to continue from the previous sections, running a number like three, or just start at one again. Now I'm going to do it, start over at one again, right there. So if you're scrolling back, we just make format, right, between Roman numeral paginations and the regular number pagination. So it'll be nothing, Roman numeral, Roman numeral, and then the rest of the regular Right. Right there, that's what we want to see. Now, <coughs> so since I break the section and remove my date and file path, I can just do the same, add date and back again. <coughs> right? If I want it to be centered. And do the file path again. You can also go to the design, I mean you can also copy and paste on the previous footer, or just do it manually again like there, add still file path, so now I have everything back, 1, 2, 3, and right, 4 regular numbers, and uh, if I scrolling back up, Roman numeral 2 for the group contents, I for the abstract, that's what we want, and no pagination on the cover page. do spell check okay when you submit your work and how to do that when you do look at your X here at the bottom left that means you need to click on it you need to fix all this most of the time you're going to run into like a name you can just ignore it for the name okay now it's just we, we may need to fix that manually right that's it's not to be there, right? 
like on your research paper, 